Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video we're going to learn how to make an earbud case here, but we're going to make the body portion of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Come on up to File, let's do a new design, and we're going to start a sketch here on our XY plane. And since we may 3D print this, we're going to want to change our document settings here, and we're going to change them from inches, okay, to millimeters. Okay, so go ahead and select OK. Alright, so now let's go ahead and create a center rectangle and we're going to start here at our origin and we're going to drag it out. We want it to be, uh, we're going to type in 42, hit the tab button and 22 and hit enter. Okay, let's go ahead and finish our sketch. We're going to extrude this guy out a distance of 10 millimeters. Select OK. Alright, now let's go ahead and start a sketch here on this face and we're going to drag out yet another center rectangle here right here in the middle and we're going to make this center rectangle have dimensions 27 hit the tab button and we're going to type in six millimeters hit enter okay and let's go ahead and finish our sketch and we're going to extrude this sketch out a distance of 45 millimeters hit enter and we're going to make yet another center rectangle here on this face, so let's go ahead and start a sketch here on this face. Come on over to create one more center rectangle here in the middle, and it's going to have the same dimensions as our first one with dimensions of uh, 42, hit the tab button, and 22 millimeters, hit enter. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and finish our sketch, and we're going to extrude it out this one and that one. Okay, a distance of 25 millimeters, hit enter. All right, next thing we want to do is hollow out this top part. So we're going to come on over here to shell. We're going to click that face and we're going to shell it for two millimeters and select OK. All right, and that's exactly what we want, but unfortunately it made the whole thing hollow and we don't want that. So we're going to fix that right now. So like I said, we want this top portion hollow, we don't want the whole thing hollow. So to fix that, okay, come on over here, see our origins, our different planes here? Here's our YZ plane. So let's start a sketch on our YZ plane here, and I'm going to rotate it over, okay? And I'm going to do something called slice graphics, which will literally like slice it open, and we can see sort of the inner workings of our part here. Okay, and we're going to come on over here to create, and we're going to project some geometry. We're going to project uh, this line, this line, this line, this line, and that line, and hit OK. Now we're going to grab our line tool, and I'm going to zoom in just a bit here so you guys can see. I'm just going to drag out a line across these two parts, and I'm going to drag out a line from here to here, from here, to here. Okay, so my loop is complete. And then I'm going to dimension this line to be, well, let me hit escape. Let's go to create and project. Okay, I'm going to just project that point right there. We're going to dimension this line from this point a distance of nine millimeters. And I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketch. And you'll see that our sketch is here, right? We just need to extrude it now. So we're going to extrude it. All right. We don't want to go one way, though. We want to go both ways. So we're going to go symmetrical here. And we're going to click here to whole length. And we're going to go to distance to all. And it's going to want to cut it, but we don't want to cut it. We want to make it join. So we're going to come on over to cut. And we're going to select join. And we're going to select OK. All right. Now, if you look in there, OK our part here is no longer hollow. It's completely solid in the middle, okay, and in the bottom. All right, next thing we're going to do now is go ahead and add some fillets here. So we're going to add three millimeter fillets right here, right here, right here, on that edge too, right here, right here. I'm going to zoom in here and here, and then on these four corners,
okay and so here's what we got be careful make sure you didn't forget them so we have them all here and we're gonna make those three millimeters fillets here and select OK and then we're gonna add one more fillet right here and one right here and we're gonna make those nine millimeter fillets now we're doing this because when we 3d print it with these fillets we we don't want anything overhang because we'll have to add supports so by adding these fillets in here it'll slowly sort of print outward and we won't need to add supports so go ahead and select OK All right, now we're gonna go ahead and create some holes down here. So let's go ahead and start a sketch here on this face. I'm gonna rotate my part around. Okay, I'm gonna grab my circle tool and somewhere in this general area, I'm just gonna drag out a circle and I'm gonna make it 5.5 uh, millimeters in diameter. So hit enter. And now we need to load, tell, uh, we need to center this hole where we want it. So from here to the bottom, okay, we want this to be five millimeters. Okay, and from this edge over here, from that edge to the center, we want it to be 10, inner. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and finish our sketch, and we're gonna extrude that guy. Go all the way through, distance through all, cut, select OK. Now we're going to add one millimeter fillets on right here and on the other side too and we're going to make that one millimeter. Okay so go ahead and select OK and now we want to mirror we want to make one more on the other side so we're going to mirror this guy. We're going to come over to create we're going to go to mirror and we're going to go to features here and we're going to select that guy and the fillets and then we need to we need to mirror across a plane so to do that, let's see here. I want to say, let's see here. Not that plane, not that plane, our YZ plane. So let's mirror it again. Okay, features. Click on the feature in the fillets. And then for the mirror plane, we're going to select our YZ plane and select OK. All right, so now we have two of them. All right, next thing you want to do now is to go ahead and start a sketch here right on this face. All right, and I'm going to flip it around again. Okay, and we're going to create yet another tube uh, center rectangle. So go to rectangle, center rectangle. All right, and we're going to find this midpoint here, and we're going to kind of come down, and somewhere kind of around in the middle here, we're just going to draw out a center rectangle, something like that. Okay, and we're going to dimension this distance here to be six millimeters okay and notice I'm not centered anymore so we can fix that let's add a constraint so I want this center point here to be aligned with that guy right there okay and now we're gonna add some more dimensions here so we want this center point from here to here to be 70 Okay, and we want this distance from here to here to be 25. All right, now we're going to come on over here and grab a circle, and I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to find this midpoint right here, and I'm going to drag out a circle so that it's tangent to this square here. And then I'm going to come over to trim, and I'm going to trim some of these lines here. And just to make sure it's tangent, I'm going to click there and click there. Now we're good. Okay. All right. That's pretty much what we want. All right. Just like that. Let's go ahead and finish our sketch. And we're going to go ahead and extrude this sketch here. So we want this portion and this portion. And we want to go the other way. A distance of minus 11 millimeters and we're going to cut and we're going to select OK. Alright, looking pretty good. Alright, next thing we want to do is add two small little fillets on this edge and this little edge right here. I'm going to zoom in and we're going to make them three millimeters. Hit OK and then we're going to add some chamfers here. So we're going to come to modify, we're going to select chamfer 
and we're going to put a one millimeter chamfer there, here, on this bottom edge, on this edge, and then on that edge, and we're going to make it one millimeters. Okay. When you're done, go ahead and select OK. Looking pretty good. All right, so now we need to create the latching mechanism for our covers to sort of latch and close onto. So to do that, we're going to start a sketch on this face right here. Okay, I'm going to rotate it around here again, and I'm going to create a point somewhere in this area right here, and I'm going to dimension it from the center here to be seven millimeters. And I'm going to dimension it from the bottom to be 76 millimeters. Okay, and once that those are dimensions are in place, we're good. Let's finish our sketch. All right, now we're going to add what's called a sphere here. Okay, so I'm going to click on the point. I'm going to come to create, and we're going to select sphere. Okay, and for whatever reason, if it doesn't let you click on this point, all right, and it should, but it's not letting me. And that I think this is a known glitch. So, but that's okay. So I'm going to zoom in really far, and as best I can, I'm going to center my mouse, and I'm going to click on that point right there. Okay, and I'm going to make this sphere here say join, and I'm going to make it three millimeters in diameter, and I'm going to select OK. Okay, and now we're going to add one small fillet on this outer edge that's one millimeter in length here or radius I should say and select OK okay now we want to go ahead and mirror this guy so let's come up to create come on over to mirror okay and once again we're gonna to go to make sure it says features we're gonna select our sphere and the fillet we just made There you go. And we're going to select our mirror plane and it's going to be the YZ plane. Let's select OK. All right. And we're good to go. All right. Our earbud body is finished. Now, if you're ready to 3D print this, all right, what you want to do is come on over here to body. All right. And we're going to right click on body one and you're going to go to save as mesh and you're going to output the file as either an STL. Okay. Or an OBJ. So, I like to use an STL file and you want to use your refinement as high. Okay, then select OK and then go ahead and uh, put it in your slicing software and you're good to go. All right, that'll do it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.